Landing a role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is a dream come true for actors, but some of the MCU actors we know and love came pretty darn close to playing other characters on the DC side of things. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Join us as we take a look at some surprising actors who almost starred in DC films before jumping into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Before we get started though, if you're new to the channel, you can hit that big red subscribe button to stay up to date with all our new stuff. Michael B. Jordan Michael B. Jordan killed it as Killmonger in Black Panther, quite literally. He's definitely made his mark on the MCU after starring in another non-MCU Marvel film that was pretty darn awful. But B. Jordan came pretty close to jumping over to the DC side of things a few years back. He was almost cast as Cyborg in the DCEU. When Zack Snyder was developing Batman v Superman several years ago, he actually met with Michael B. Jordan to discuss the role. Obviously, Ray Fisher ended up playing the character, but Jordan did want once voice cyborg in Flashpoint Paradox, so that's kinda neat. Bradley Cooper You can't see Bradley Cooper in the MCU, but he's definitely part of it, lending his voice to Rocket Raccoon in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies as well as Infinity War. But Cooper almost starred in a DC film all the way back in 2011. He was one of the actors being considered for the role of Green Lantern. That ended up going to Ryan Reynolds, and it didn't really work out for anybody involved. So Cooper maybe dodged a bullet on that one. There were also rumors just a couple of years ago that Bradley Cooper was the top actor being considered for the role of Lex Luthor in the DCEU, but clearly they decided to go another way with that character. Scarlett Johansson ScarJo has been kicking butt as Black Widow for years now, and there's still talk about a solo movie sometime in the future. Fingers crossed on that. But even before she joined the MCU, actually even before the MCU existed, she was being considered for the role of Lois Lane in Superman Returns from director Bryan Singer, all the way in a much simpler time in 2006. The role of course ended up going to Kate Bosworth, and Johansson finally got her shot at playing a superhero four years later in Iron Man 2. And that's definitely a more action-packed role for the actress than Lois Lane would have been. Tom Hardy Okay, so maybe Tom Hardy isn't an MCU actor per se, but he is playing the role of Venom in an upcoming movie. And there have been reports that Tom Holland might make an appearance as Spider-Man in that movie, so the whole thing is kind of confusing. Regardless, we see an opportunity to talk about Tom Hardy, we take it. Hardy actually almost joined the DCEU very recently, back in 2016. He was originally cast as Rick Flagg in Suicide Squad, but had to drop out because of scheduling conflicts. The role ended up going to Joel Kinnaman, and and so Hardy managed to dodge some pretty nasty reviews. Josh Brolin Josh Brolin seems to have a thing for comic book movies. Just this year, not only is he playing the big bad guy Thanos in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, he's also playing Cable in Deadpool 2. Brolin is a special case on this list because, like his Deadpool co-star Ryan Reynolds, he actually has starred in a DC Comics film. Back in 2010, Brolin starred as Jonah Hex in the aptly named movie, Jonah Hex. But there's another, much more prominent DC role that Brolin was being considered for just a couple of years back. He was personally offered the role of Batman in Batman v Superman, but after having a private meeting with Zack Snyder about the film, they agreed that he wouldn't be right for the part, and thus Batfleck was born. Do you think any of these actors would have been good in DC films? What Marvel actors would you like to see take on some DC roles? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with our new videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.